Hey, yo, what's up, Cornerstoners? Yo, my, yo, yo. My name is Johnny Warbucks, and I'm here with Kalishnikov Red. And welcome to our 8.0 installment of Remember the Record, or should I say, Remember the Show. All right, because this time around, we're going to be talking about Wu-Tang, an American saga, which first aired on September 4th, 2019. Yeah, so, you know, this episode, we're going to do something brand new. Um, we are going to cover the Wu series, like my man said, you know, so this is just a little, like, pre, like, episode, and yeah. letting you guys know what the deal is, you know, and, um, yeah, you know, anything that has to do, like, with the actors and our, you know, our point of views on all this stuff. We're going to talk about like, we we'll, we'll go through the whole season. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All, all future episodes, uh, uh, you know, we're, we're going to call uh, 8.1, 8.2 and 8.3. This all season, the episode eight for us, mm -hmm. uh, will be uh, specifically about each season, right? Uh, where we'll then break down the, the whole thing episode by episode, right? Um, with recaps, with the thoughts, uh, discuss the music in each episode. You know, this is a music uh, show. We're going to do music. Uh, share some Easter eggs, uh, the highlights of each episode, and then um, and then we'll release those uh, depending on specific parameters uh, met by you, the, uh, the listeners. Yeah, so let's get down with it, man. Let's see where, where this goes. All right, all right. We'll start with a couple of facts here, just so that we, like, we, you know, it's a routine, but we, I kept it short on this one, guys. This was created by RZA, creator and composer, and Alex uh, Say, who's the writer and exec producer. All right, so he's a uh, so just so y'all know, uh, Alex was a screenwriter who wrote 2004's gangster film Sucker Free City, 2018's Superfly, and then he also co wrote 2009's comic book film The Watchmen, which I didn't know that. I, I didn't know that either. That's cool. That's cool. So the uh, show originally released uh, uh, September 4th, 2019, and uh, wrapped up April 5th, 2023. It was originally aired on Hulu. Uh, the length of each episode is about 42 to 59 minutes. There's three seasons total. That makes a total of 30 episodes. All right. So, again, we'll talk about the seasons individually in each episode. Today, yeah. we're just going to talk about, let's talk about some of the actors yeah. Yeah. and our general thoughts about it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, let's start with general thoughts first. Yeah. You know, okay. So, the casting, you know, it, like, we, you know, I was showing earlier, we have Rizza as. I mean, I, I don't know. What... No, his name's Ashton. Sa so wait, Ashton Sanders is uh, is, is portrays the Rizzo. Okay. Now he did like Moonlight, something like now, that. Now to me, okay, I watched this when it initially came out, and I rewatched it again. And I have two different perspectives on the actor who played Rizzo. I uh, like at first I was just like, this isn't Rizzo. This mm -hmm. isn't Rizzo. But then watching it again, I'm like. Maybe not like like what he looks like or whatever, but I feel like he was like he had a, like the same type of like mental like thoughts that Rizza had in real life in in acting. And I I, I appreciated him as a, as the actor for Rizza. Everybody else to me was on point. I don't care. I like, just everybody else was on point to me. And he was just the one that he was the only one that was a little off to. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, <clears throat> so like, look, here's what I'm gonna argue. I mean, I'm with him. I agree completely, actually, about the fact that, like, as a show, which is a dramatized fiction, right? So there is artistic uh, leeway happening here, right? Like they they do some pull and give, both uh, uh, visually, but also. Um, uh, you know, factually, right? Yeah, like there's a couple yeah. of things there that are uh, a little flip, but I will agree that um, my man um, here. Wait, wait, that's not him. No. Oh my bad, I jumped up. I, I'm the one. That's my fault. I, I, I don't usually do that. I'm not the. I'm not the guy. I'm sorry. But uh, but but Ashton like has like he has the, the hair, the, the outfits. Um, he's got like the way he talks is is how Rizzo talks, right? But in my opinion, I mean, look at the they look so different. In my opinion, I mean, it's cool. Uh, my man did his thing, and, and I really enjoyed his performance. I do wish uh, he looked and sounded, like, audibly sounded a little more. Because, like, also, it seemed to me, and I don't know if it's, like, the pandemic, and they had time away, and they're like, all right, I got to come back into this character. But I really kind of felt like Riz's character in particular, like, his accent kept changing a little bit. <laughs> That's what everybody says. It kept, he kept sounding a little weirder and weirder. Yeah, everybody says that. <laughs> it's easy. Everybody yeah. says that. But, you know, like I said, I, I watching and rewatching it again. I, I, I appreciate it. I, I think I, I, I fuck with him. I think I understand why Riz chose him as, like, 
him because like there's something about him that I'm like, yeah, I see Rizza doing that exact same thing. Yeah, I mean, I think like when you're looking at like through his eyes and you see like the emotion and like his, his him thinking mm-hmm. about what's happening, mm-hmm. like whenever he would be in conflicts with like particularly like Ghost Face and Ray and yeah, yeah. Uh, that Attila character, like you could see like the, the 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 gears turning. Even as an actor, he really puts on that. What do I do next? Man? Yeah, like yeah. you can see that. You, like you, he's a great actor. I, I thought just, he killed it. I, I thought he killed it. I just wish he looked and sounded good. Mm-hmm. And then, like everybody else, I mean, somewhere on the nose, like on the nose, like old dirty bastard. Whoa, 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 whoa! Let's. Look. Look. We're not gonna go. We're yeah, gonna, yeah, yeah. I'm doing this the uh, the Method Man record uh, order. So we got the Rizza, the Jizza. All right. Now this was my man uh, John Alexander Young. Um, he plays uh, the genius. Uh, the Jizza, and I thought he killed that shit. I loved him as the Jizza. I thought, I mean, um, uh, maybe like, you know, after seeing a whole grip of uh, interviews by Jizza, there's um, some sort of like mannerism I feel like he's missing from it. Yeah. But as a as a, as a show and a character, he, I thought he killed it. Yeah, and, and me, me and John here, like we we went and we actually saw Jizza play, and it was just himself. Mm, it wasn't mm. nobody Wu Tang. It was just Jizza, and that was a really cool thing. He came down to a crowd, you know. It was like literally knowledge was the, with us on that. Yeah, yeah. Yo, that was a great show. That was, man. And I man, next time play Killer Hills though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm all like Killer Hills. Yeah, I, he, like if, if I recorded the whole show, you would hear him in the back. Like, Killer And Jizza's just like, I ain't afraid of you people. I'm in the crowd with y'all. I ain't afraid of you. I mean, I gotta like you know, Wu Tang in general is like my one of my favorite groups. But fuck it, within Wu Tang, my guys, where's the Jizzle? Those are your those are your two. I mean, and I, 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 I'm not arguing. I'm gonna throw Inspector Deck in that. I, I go I go more method than Inspector, but I Inspector has fucking. Some, it's his pen, dude. Yeah, man, he's got. Inspector Deck is the most dangerous MC in the uh-huh, entire shit. Uh huh. And and I think people might overlook Cap a lot. And it's not fair to him because no, he's fucking nasty. But but see, this is the thing. But 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 Inspector Deck. Dude. Inspector Deck, I give him his props. I mean, he he's yeah. That's why I say I like him all, and I like Method. I was like, I mean, every, I mean, he's like the whole package. Yeah, it's his yeah, look, yeah, every, it's his yeah. manner, it's his behavior, it's who he is, right? Mm-hmm. The fact that he can do some melody shit, and he's just so grimy and gritty, yet he can also just be like, ha oh, God. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. You know, like it's just like more like I don't know if it's like the poppy is the word, but like he's just more like approachable. He's got, more energy. He's got he's that. The, energy. He's the most energetic outside of ODB. Well, okay, but this is the who's most grimy or ODB. Or oh no, I think you know, old Dirt McGurk is just dirty. You know, uh, but but, but, but Method Man's got like one eye. Method is gr- Method the... is grimy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If I had like... to bump into either of them in the street, like in an alley or something, <laughs> I'd be terrified <laughs> if I bumped into Method Man. I think yeah. Old Dirty Bass, I'd be like, oh man, man, yo, yeah. this, dude, this dude's awesome. Like, 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 just, don't and, and shit, don't talk to me, don't talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, so fucked up. No, we have absolutely love Wu Tang. I mean, obviously, we're doing the show, so yeah. but I'm just, we're just saying. All right, now, uh, so speaking of. Look, oh, look, look, I'm just saying, because he was all like, man, I'm MTV, like, interviews, and he's like, I, I'm taking a piss right now. Like, <laughs> right. That's what I'm saying. I got burned two yeah, times. Yeah. Gone to real shit. Three times, times on that, man. Times. Yo, yeah, he's, yeah, he's, he's, he's definitely dirty. Uh, oh, like that grime, that street grime, that grit. Yeah. You, you. But here's our boy, though. All right, so this is TJ Adams that was portraying Old Dirty Bastard. I swear to God, I thought this was fucking... Um, From the way he talked, the way he moved, the way he rapped, the Everything, every about fucking piece it. of it. I'm like, this guy did it. I thought it was Baby ODB. I thought I it thought, was yeah, uh, yeah, Young Dirty yeah, Bastard. Yeah, yeah, I mean, this guy did it. Cat, his Cat, he did his homework. God, he, 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 he encompasses like, everything, even out of everybody. The way he talks, the way he was like, like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like, you know what I just noticed when on um, this follow up, watching this one. ODB's always eating something or holding <laughs> food or holding a drink. Yeah, man. I don't think there's a single fucking scene. Where he's not, y'all check it back out. I don't think there's a single scene where the dude isn't eating or drinking or something. No, and ODB, man. I mean, rest in peace for reals, for reals. All right, Peter. Um, I, you know, when I, when I really got into Wu, like, I mean, it was ODB, and it was Method that had like the first two albums from the Wu, and like, 
you know, ODB was very different than 36 Chambers. Yo, oh, man. Oh, yeah, the dirty version? Yeah. yeah. it was, like, raw. Yeah, yeah. I mean, he still had, like, those characters, like, you yeah. know, Shimmy Shimmy Yard, But like, that album was very different than 36 Chambers. Zoo. Like, yeah. He still had the, the blood, but he, he was, he's an artiste. He's an artist, man. Yeah, he's no, really he, he he was definitely an iconic one of a kind. Like mm. people that don't listen to hip hop know. And you know, I'm you know, this is uh, this is we're talking about season one here. Yeah. But I will say that as we progress into all the whole series, I the, the actor of ODB like played him so so well, it got so so better that like I got sad. I was like at the end of it, yeah, particularly like, at the end of it, I'm with you. I was like, damn. Man. Yeah, there was that one uh, allegory episode where they're doing like the black exploitation. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. When you, and, and, and it wraps yeah, up with him on stage, yeah. and he's like doing shimmy shimmy yara. Yeah, yeah. Yo, I did, I did feel some type of way. I thought it was. I thought that out of all of those, man, we'll talk about that. Yeah, next yeah. Season, that's, but, we'll get to that. But anyway, anyway. So like, now we got Inspect Deck. Now I will say this: um, who, who are you gonna show up here? Right? You show him a man. Um, uh, o- Oyada, uh, Udi. Yeah, so there's two actors yeah. that I didn't even realize yeah. until like right now. I think it's. Uh, I think it might have had something to do with the pandemic, or maybe like financially, or just like his job couldn't. It didn't pan out for him. The schedule, but um, it was originally for three episodes. Uh, it's portrayed by Joey Badass. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'm just like, and I realize that now. Yeah. But I'm like, I didn't really. Yeah, realize. the episodes that we see in this season, uh, this first season, I think, are, yeah. are and then the rest of it is all yeah. um, uh, Yoda. Yeah. And I will say this, man. Um, I think that as a, a, a personification act-wise, I thought Joey Badass killed that. Oh show. yeah, of course. But look at this guy. Look at look at all the, He looked like the motherfucker, dude. This looks like yeah. the guy that tried to like beat me up at that concert. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, but, but you know, <coughs> Joey Badass. This is his first like acting. Oh, I'm not. I'm not surprised to hear that because he's still kind of like. Hey, I don't know if he is or isn't. Oh, you're asking if he is. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I never checked his credits, man. I uh, I was just like uh, looking up the imagery and you know really just diving back into the show as like yeah, a, no, as a show. No, because I mean I you know it's crazy. Like one of my boys, you know we uh, we go back. I'm not you know knowledge. That's all I'm gonna say, right? Like yeah yeah yeah. He, Shout out to knowledge. Yeah, he he put me off the joke badass. Yo, he's so good. And the thing is like. He doesn't really like Joey Badass. I mean, that type of like music, like current stuff. He likes more of the old stuff. And then when like you put the songs, like who the fuck? I don't listen to Joey Badass. I heard like two songs. I'm like, yo, son, absolutely nasty, son. I mean, like, and he, he he encompasses the persona of a '90s artist, yes, hardcore today, right? hardcore, and hardcore. so so I got nothing but love for no. Him, and I even it. showed it to my brother, and my brother's from like this time. I can't live my life man, like this. Man, that song, man, dude, Joey man, fucking man, rips man. that shit. Yeah, it's fucking no. And like I got more, more 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 respect, more love for him now. You know what I mean? Like, so show, shout out to Joey Badass. I wish we could have seen mm-hmm. more of him to like really. Mm-hmm. Assess it, but my man, uh, I mean, he, I thought he killed that. No, yeah, yeah. Um, Shamik Moore is the gentleman who plays Raekwon, the chef. Shout out to Shamik. This is also the homie. This is Shah, it's so Shah, right? Like, like he go by uh, uh, a couple of different names, right? What does he, what does he go by in the show normally? They, they call him Shah, don't they? Yeah, he's Shah. Yo, so that's uh, probably easy for him. He's like, I am Shah. Yeah, yeah. But like, but like, yo, this is the gat. Look at that, man. I mean, he looked like a younger, mm-hmm. you're like mm-hmm. healthier. <laughs> I mean, he's dark. He's not, as, he's not as portly. He's darker, but I mean, he's, nah, that's not a lot. That, that's that's no, that's but, good. But you get like. Dude, that's that's. I mean, the, the, the his, his the way he <laughs> he holds his face together. Because like I don't think I mean I've seen other pictures of him, uh, where he's just like his Wikipedia. Like y'all should check out his Wikipedia page, uh, and just look at that picture and just and that will give you the uh, yeah. It's completely different person. I know I know who he's talking. I'm the picture he's talking about. When looking at this, I was like, nah, let me get the one where he looks like. Right. Yeah, because I wasn't gonna do, I wasn't gonna be right by him. Where's the but yeah, to be yeah, honest, look at this like, cat. What is the? Yeah, you look more like yeah. uh, what's my man's that name? That rapper. Yeah, that rapper. Yeah, the, 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 the mumble one. cat. Yeah, the new one with the with the red the red beads. Yeah. Oh, dude, that's terrible. What's little, that? Little little yachty vert. Little yachty. I don't know. Little but maybe he could do vert too. But like that's look at that cat. He could have done he could have done a yachty. Yeah. I mean, how does how does that look like this? You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> like, it, oh, and so how, how does that other one look? 
close to that. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 I mean, shout out to hair and makeup on these shows. Yeah. But also, it's just like the way he has his like face oh, shape. Yeah. And the way he talks. And the way he talks. He's like, yeah, your son, your son, son, son. Yeah, yeah. Like, 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 there's like this, this yeah, list bar. Yeah, Dude, it's yeah. really well done. He sounds like you every, every, like, every, every interview I've ever heard Ray yeah, Kwan do. Yeah. Yo, this is the art yeah, right here. Yeah, man. But he sounds just like us. Like him, man. So, I mean, as far as like, that's that shit. Is some, again, stupid on point. Somebody did their homework, man. Someone did they? Somebody did their homework. Yeah, like hardcore. I mean, and, and this, remember, this is fucking Morales and fucking Spider Man. Right, you know, right. That's fucking so good. Um, after that, we're gonna go in uh, to Damani Sis, who uh, portrays You God. Dog, I have nothing bad to say about it. You God uh, uh, has always sort of been. Like that, that back end of the crew holding it together, yeah. Uh, and in the show, I feel like the same thing. Yeah. And he uh, he has the look, he has the sound, he has, and he, he acts like him in any in any interview. I've ever and seen. one thing about uh, not this season in particular, but um, but uh, like later down the road, I forgot what season you start learning more about his personal life his backstory his backstory and, 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 and his uh involvement in the crew yeah but almost like just season three yeah dude, but almost like was literally seconds away from a horrible thing yeah you know man that's right that's a true story i yeah. mean uh it, it, it shout out to uh uh to you god in the book raw um, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's a really good read i have i hyper recommend it i mean his story is uh is wild so anyway um so that's uh, that's our boy you uh baby you we got Sadiq uh Sanderson who's gonna portray uh D Lover, which is uh Oops, which is sorry, go- wrong guy. Which is, here, we with, here we go, here we go. That's D Lover, that's uh you know ghost face killer in his uh his early days. Um so spot on yeah, with the yeah. acting. Um and he's younger, so he's got that younger uh ghost face uh appearance, but I think he I thought he fucking killed that. No, shit. he killed it, man. He killed it. I he, mean like just the mannerisms yeah. are there, like, like fuck that. You know, like, 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 almost like, in, in, like, in the show, it's like man, like Ghostface, like the most sensitive cat. Yeah, like, and I don't mean that in like a soft yeah. way. It's yeah, it's yeah. like he's sensitive for his moms, he's yeah, sensitive yeah, for his brothers, brothers. Uh, for for for, for RZA. Yeah, and like who he kicks, who he's he like, man, out. I did this for your family. I did this for you, son. Yeah, and and like, it's like, what are you fucking around with that that yeah, 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 You know, you know, like like he's like protective. And then RZA's like, you did this for your family too. So he was always between RZA's family and his family. And like, yo, I didn't had no idea that that was, but it makes so much sense when you start hearing his music. All like that when, I got, hear, when you hear or, after you see that episode, after you see that episode, and you go back to the song, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something, man. I always fuck with that song. The song always kind of moves and makes you think. Yeah. But after you watch the episode and then hear the song mm-hmm. again, mm-hmm. Uh, which which is gonna be on our playlist for that that season, um, holy shit. Mm-hmm. No it way. just it just makes it makes it hit so much harder. It's like going to the neighbors asking for sh- like sugar water, man. Like yeah, it was, asking for food. Yeah, I always yeah, yeah. Hate, I always hated that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Like, like yeah. it's like fuck. Yeah. Yeah, you did that, and you really feel the emotion there. You, it's with, a lot. Happier. I feel like with with that actor, like you really feel more emotion there than I think out of everybody. I, I hear you. I hear you. Like, like I mean, yeah. his uh, his his story arc is really good in this uh, in this show. Um, we're gonna go to Jaquan J. Kelly. Now, that's Master Killer. He is more or less a reoccurring appearance role. He shows up particularly more so in the later series, in the mm. season three as much. So we aren't gonna uh, have a lot to talk about him here as of recent, but I think that he looks, sounds, I mean, it was a solid bit, right? Yeah. Um, I don't feel like, oh man, he crushed it. And I don't feel like, well, what the hell was that? You know what I mean? Like, I thought they did, yeah. I thought it was super solid. I mean, he looks like him. You look like him. Man, so it, it works. Like, the, ca- who the, the casting on this show is phenomenal, dude. Like, hands yeah. down. Like, I mean, some of the, uh, particularly with like certain cats. Yes, sir. How, how do you feel about uh, Dave East, uh, rapper Dave East doing Method Man? Okay, so here we go. We jump into Method Man here. I, uh, to be honest, Method Man is one of my favorite rappers in, in the Wu oh, family. Oh, mine too. In the family. Mine too. Um, and so if you're going to do anything on Method Man, you got to come correct in my eyes, right? To be honest, at the very beginning, I was just like, yeah, I, I see it, but I don't hear it. Yeah. 
But then when when I rewatching it again and hearing like really listening to how he flows and how Method Man flows, it's like it's it's there. It really is. He just I feel like Method Man comes with the energy and he doesn't. But everything else, I mean, that's the only thing. That's he's, he's like too chill. Yeah, that's the only thing that's lacking. But I think after all, like his look and everything, his height, everything. Like, oh yeah, he's just. It works. It works fine for me. I um I particularly when he starts rapping, my problem is is that I listen to Dave East and I fuck with Dave East hard. And I actually had conversations with other heads that are in our crew. And I didn't I've never heard him in in full transparency, I've never heard him before. This. Okay, so like I'll have to play you a couple records. Because my argument or the debate I've always had with people is that the dude when he raps, he doesn't rap like, but he sounds like guru. He has that. Oh, okay. He has that voice, okay. right? You can see it even yeah, in this a little yeah. bit. But like when you hear it, you're like, is this like a new Guru record, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and it's kind of like that. So every time I hear him perform on this, like when he's doing like Killer Hells and all that shit, like I'm 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 hearing Dave East and I'm hearing that Guru sound, and I wanted it to have a little bit. There's parts, yeah, yeah, where he yeah. comes through with that, like when mm -hmm. particularly in the. The, the studio sessions when they're doing Seven Chamber, I feel like he's like definitely leaning in harder on that Method Man shit. Um, I know that this is still early for Davies in his career. So like, I mean, it, it's just, it's not that it's unpolished at all, but like if there's there's some tweaking there that he needs to do. Yeah, and, like, and I mean, I, I mean, but I thought it was dope. Tweaking in the sense, cause I mean, I've never heard him before, but from what I hear him doing the Method Man, I, I can That's tell- That's all I'm talking I can, yeah, I can tell he's a good rapper. So tweaking, if, he's you, a wanna, good actor. if you wanna sound like Method Man, I feel like, do that. Yeah. What was it 16 years yeah. ago? Or like, like 16 like, men with the dead men's chest. Like, 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 like there's just this, this, there's yeah, this back like, note. There is like a harder. There's a like, spine there that's like missing a disc. Yeah, but no. His, but otherwise, his, his super look and everything, I, I really, I was like, no, that's nothing, man. Like, I don't, I, 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 I really, I mean, this is us being heavy critique because we're doing a review on the show on our opinions. And this is how we would talk yeah. about it if we were talking on the phone with each other. So we're not making any kind of disrespect. This is just our personal opinions. He is. Well, I'm here, I'm, I'm here to disrespect. I'm here to hurt some feelings. I'm looking to lose some followers today. All right, look, look, look. All right, so now we got, oh my God. So Julian Eliza Martinez. Um, oh no, no, our next up is Cap, right? Yes. We can't, we can't forget about Capadonna. We can't forget about Capadonna. Where is Cap? Do we, we forget about Capadonna? Tell me we forgot mm -hmm. about Capadonna. Yeah, I think we... No, he's further up back here, remember? Because we bumped into him and you're like, oh, that's not the guy. He's somewhere up here. Am I wrong? Oh my God, am I wrong? Oh, I, Guys, I, no disrespect to Cap. We love Cap. Dude, that's so fucking... No, no, no. I, I downloaded it. I, I remember. You should have loaded it. Guys, this is an organic show. We are a live show. We're always a live show. Um, Capadonna is... Um, uh, he's only in about four episodes, dog. He's he's a, he's a cameo. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a cameo. Yeah, my bad, Cap. No, no, we love you, Cap. Cap is uh, like, we were just like right before, dude. That's so funny because like right before the show, we were talking about how he's like kind of like mad slept on and like you know. No, we, here we go. Here we go. I knew. We there's had, our boy. There's our boy. There's there's Cappy. Yeah. There's Cap. It's just that we, we couldn't really get a good image from him from the. Well, Jaquan J. Kelly. Uh, wait, wait, wait. That's Master. Um. My bad, guys. Caleb Castile is the one who portrays Cap, and he um, he doesn't have like his own pages yet. Like he's he's brand he's yeah. fresh, and so like the images we could pull were literally out of the TV show. We could show those when we get to that. You know what mm. I mean? But um, I thought like, look, I mean, at first I'm gonna be honest with you. When I see the cat, I didn't realize it was him at all. He yeah. Was, and they called him Chino, yeah. which I get, Cappuccino. They call him yeah, Chino, yeah. and so I didn't know exactly until he started rapping when it was. And when he did rap, mm. he spit like he spit like cat. Oh yeah, no, he definitely did. It's just they and when he's it. in more of that woo out yeah, shit, yeah, like yeah. he looks, he looks a lot but, more. Like yeah, him. he does. But at the beginning, yeah, I, I couldn't tell. I, I, I honestly, it's like it's not a blink and you'll miss it because, in my opinion, it's one of the highlights of that episode. But like. But yeah, he doesn't oh, have that. Yeah, that is the highlight of that. That's such a good yeah, scene yeah, where like he's yeah, rapping. Because one, I mean, everybody. <laughs> that's a, probably his most famous verse. Yeah, that's, no, that's, that's, that's the one that like. It's actually just a good episode, period. Like, I, dude, and we'll talk. We'll talk yeah, about it, guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, so now we got through uh, the main crew. We're going to talk about the other backbones of the Wu Tang Clan. These are important heads, uh, including Julian Elijah Martinez, who plays Divine. And guys, I've got to tell you, look at this. Oh man, I think the image that you chose is like an older divine, though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Show, show, but show this, guys. All right. So there's a um, 
docu series on Showtime called "Of Mike's and Men." It's about the Wu Tang Clan, and it was. And there's a lot of interview with Divine. And when you see Divine in those interviews, and you hear and see this dude uh, doing his thing as Divine in the in the show, this guy is fucking on the mark. Okay, so him, in my opinion, it's like ODB is like that personified yeah, right. divine is the next one okay so unfortunately because of time constraints i never got to see the documentary that my man's here's always telling me to watch <laughs> um, I the yeah, for months. so i i my first knowledge of divine and power was through the show right right both um, both of them and moot um all three of those characters yeah yeah they are spot on yeah so but like and besides that uh like i thought that that actor like who played the vine i was just like yo like i'd have nothing to compare it to but i was just like yo this is this guy's but he's one of my favorite actors out of that whole fucking series he's yeah i would honestly say that of all of them his performance is the one i relate to the most yeah, and, and there's like a scene again this is later down where he's like kind of like not being able to control the whole crew and he's trying to manage yeah. him oh man that scene <laughs> I'm like that that feels like i mean we have that that Ooh. that we've experienced that over and over again and we aren't even people that have been dealing with like record labels and big money right, 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 and right. managers but like right. that whole managing the crew and those different personalities and what that's like it's like you uh, that's us trying to record yeah, records yeah, together yeah, like, and, and getting people together to like go to like shows and do like yeah, showcases like i i saw that because i was like i feel for him so much but even that like so relatable but the beauty of like this season you know you see him as a kid I do again, yeah, and, and shout out to the to the baby Rizza and yeah, baby yeah, uh, baby yeah, Divine because those yeah. those kids, yeah, even even uh, they go places, man. Even uh, the kid, uh, I mean, he was only there for just a little bit, but Hayes, man. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get to that we, later. I don't think I don't think we bring him up here, but we'll talk uh, yeah, about yeah. him in the, in the series. I think yeah, him yeah. and Jason. Yeah. Jocelyn, um, Jocelyn's another one, man. God damn. What's that, the name of the, oh, the, the oh, drug dealer, oh, Carrie, Sherry, yeah, Sherry? What's the yeah. name? Um, Sassy. I, something like that. Fuck, but, I'm sorry, dude. But, we'll, we'll talk about it in the next yeah, season. But, uh, but I thought he killed it. There's a couple of heads that just like pop in. The, like, the, the mom. The mom. Was yeah, let's say, uh, let, well, hold on, hold on. Before we, we'll get on moms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. uh, we are, we, we brought up power. So shout out to Marcus Callender, who, was, uh, who portrayed power. Um, once again, look at this and then look at the, the image of power in real. Did you get a picture? Yeah, I did, power? but that was the guy you were like, who's this guy? And oh, you're funny. Yeah, yeah, he's kind of off. It's yeah. right here, right? Uh, that's him right there, right? No, that's Matt. Yeah, okay, okay. And once again, an older photo of power, but dude, like, acts and talks and sounds and looks just like him, dude. I thought he, I thought he uh, embodied it. I never, again, I never watched the documentary, but again, power and vine. Just as a character was entertaining God to watch, damn, right? man. Like, they, they were like, just, just the, I love his whole persona, like, the way he too. Yo, like, yo, like, oh, like, just really, like, like, yo, son. Yeah, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? like, a cool ass dude you want yeah. in your corner. Like, I want this homie. I want this dude as a homie. Yeah, yeah. And, like, yeah, and, like, and, like, Vine, I want his older brother. <clears throat> yeah, he, uh, he, he, he was, uh, he was dope. I mean, both as an actual person. Yeah. And, and not that he's, like, passed away, but right, as an actual right, person. Right, right, right. And, uh, as the character, I thought they really did a great, uh, uh, depiction of him. I fucked with that really hard. We're gonna go into back to backs on the uh, ladies in Rizza's life. Um, we're gonna start, uh, we're just gonna drop them both. We got Erica Alexander, uh, who plays Linda Diggs, who's Rizza's mom. And then we got Zoe Lee Griggs, who plays a Shuri Diggs, Cherie Diggs, which is Rizza's sister. And you see her, you see Cherie there at the bottom. Now, in research on this, because I knew something was wrong, off on that, because I remember Rizza talking about being from a big family. So Cherie Diggs, after doing a little digging myself, um found out that uh according to Riza, because it would be he has 11 11 siblings 11 brothers and sisters right and so what he chose to do for the show so it wouldn't be overwhelming because he already got right, nine right, main right. characters right. Yeah, yeah. plus you know yeah, what i mean yeah. and the and the supporting roles right so like he encompassed his sisters yeah like a mag amalgamation yeah of all of his there's different traits and there's different things that have happened 
that are all tied into Sharia as one character. Because mm-hmm. I looked it up because the, the, the way you see like you're like uh, the ghost face really yeah, like hook up yeah, with it. Like, you, you, it leads you to look it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, you know, this show did that a lot. Yeah, a lot. Because a it, and originally at first, I was like, like, does Ghostface really have two brothers? Like, does Ghostface, well, you hear him mention yeah, that, yeah, yeah. which you don't, which you again, it's like yeah, something that goes through know, passing, know, right? Know, know. And now that you've seen what that is yeah, about, and yeah. you hear him say, it, you're like, fuck, yeah. who won the lottery on yeah, that? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah that is tough. I can't imagine. Like, I mean, my daughter, God bless her, if she had that, that would be such a, 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 a challenge yeah. um, and such a thing to protect. Yeah. You know what I mean? And to have that happen to you twice yeah. is astronomical. And then like... So, I mean, Ghostface mom... Um, I mean, look, and there's no judgment there, but... but you man, can't Ghostface, blame her. Yeah, Ghostface really stepped up and, and you know... He had to handle it. Yeah, man. And like, that's that's the thing that you see like with a lot of like like these shows are like okay i'm gonna like sell drugs to be cool and like make my money these people were just surviving that was just the bottom line it was just a way of survival you know so like because you see the interaction between rizza's mom which we'll get to later and like like rizza and i'm like you know throughout the show i'm like how would how would a mom be so cool with that but at the same time it's like well, i don't remember the season this is the world that i don't remember, i don't remember the episode but uh, Erica Alexander like deserves a fucking trophy. Oh, man, god damn, man. She from Cosby. There was one part where I even kind of went, yeah, that's right. She was from the Cosby show, right? From Cosby to this, forget so, about So, it. like, I'm telling you, man, there are scenes where I'm like, like, way to like over fucking like mm-hmm. kill that shit. Like, not, not necessarily like, like she's overacting, mm-hmm. but she just demolishes competition. Yeah. yeah. And it's fucking brutal. It's just crazy because, like, you, you see her, like, you know, at least from my experience growing up, she was in all these sitcoms. <laughs> yeah. And it was always funny. It was always this, that, the other. Sometimes it was encompassing a little bit of, like, you could see a little bit of, like, drama being in these sitcoms. But they were sitcoms. Yeah. Like, you, now, like, I see her with a whole completely new different eyes, or, you know, more mature. And it's just like, God damn, man. She like, still got it, dude. She, everything she right? got it she got it better than she ever had it yeah yeah Matt props she's one of the she's one of the best pieces Matt of the props. show Matt props to so i'm gonna quickly just spit off some names here um we have these reoccurring roles these are cats that show up quite a bit in the show so i wanted to give them a shout out we got uh justice david graham a great actor he plays uh rizza's father he's the, oh, okay. uh, randy Diggs. so he's the only cat that i remember um, as like a like a dominant actor, yeah, right? yeah, and he's yeah. like a, he's like a guest. He's the guy. I'm like I've seen this dude everywhere, right? Dead Prez. Dead Prez, just like the shit. He's, he's like he's like he's like gonna rob the bank or whatever. And the other guy's like, I I do everything to help my fellow Leatherneck. Oh god, like, I don't know why I remember that scene. So <laughs> he's like he's all sweaty. He's like, man, we're, we're, we're time, we're time. Yo, oh, dog. <laughs> Dead presence, man. That's the one where they got like the uh, face paint. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. god damn. All right, so then we got um. Um, oh my gosh! I'm, listen, guys, I'm, I'm, I'm no disrespect. So if I got this, you can correct me in the comments, whatever, man. But again, this is an organic show. We are uh, we're doing this off of uh, our own research. I could have maybe googled how to pronounce it, but my homie uh, Benga Ekanagbi, uh, he plays uh, Mook, which is John Gibbons. That's the first manager of Wu Tang. And once again, Mook is a cat that you see in uh, of Mike's Men, and I think that this cat really fucking killed it. Wasn't he also on Friday? Wasn't he the African on Friday? Dude, I know. The I, CD? I didn't go back and look into it. But are you sure? You, you, let me check. Let me, let me, no, no, that's not him. Let me see. Let me see what's the no, no, man's no, name. No, I, I don't need uh, it. Because I, I want to say I've seen him in like another night. He's a really good actor. I just can't remember where I've seen him. And I was like, it's when I saw his face. I was like, yo, I've seen this guy somewhere. But no, like all these, you know, all of the uh, features and appearances from different cameos, if you want to call it, like are all mad point, mad point. And, you know, my favorite, of course, is the Italians. So I didn't, I mean, I, do you remember the name of the main guy? Because that guy's been in fucking everything. I want to say, he is I, like I, a, I, want, I want to say his last name was Pastor, but. I I'm not going to, I'm not going to pretend like I know, dog. Yeah, no, Yo, I so haven't. this dude that plays Mook, he's been, fuck, he's been at the Wire, Barbershop, Numbers. He's Barbershop, been, that's where I see him. Yeah, yo, I knew he was like Scoot. Yo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, all this Law & Order he's been featured in. He was in The Following, uh, Limitless he was in. What? I don't even remember that. Yo, that's crazy. Anyway, no, yeah, he's yeah, been yeah, in yeah. Power, uh, the, the 50 Cent shows. Yeah, no, that's Nothing. 
Power two? Power's method, man. Oh, isn't fuck that. No, I'm sorry. Isn't that the lawyer? Isn't he the lawyer? He might, I mean, as an actor, yeah, yeah but yeah, I'm yeah, saying yeah. I think that. Oh, oh, yeah. It's 50 Cent Shaw. Yeah, okay. Um, Wu Tang people. <laughs> um, all right, so then, uh, and then we're going to give a quick shout out over to uh, Samuel McCoy Johnson and as uh, as Darius Coles and then Emma Harris as Darren Coles. Those are the uh, the two brothers of uh, Ghostface. Um, not over the top. You no, know, they, they, such a, yeah. it is such a very. I know, I mean, in particular today's society, it is like treading, mm. it's very sensitive and mm. like you can't go full on uh, to this degree. So I thought they, I thought they did that role, uh, both of them. I thought they just fucking killed that shit. <laughs> you laughing about, you thinking about, you thinking about Tropic Thunder? Uh, you thinking about Tropic Thunder? You thinking about Tropic Thunder? You thinking about Tropic Thunder? You can't, you can't, you can't do that. Sean Penn went home empty handed. Yo! <laughs> that's why, oh God, that's funny. I thought I was going to get that. I was going to slip that through, man. Yo, Whoa. that's funny as fuck, dude. I was like, he's thinking about the same shit. See, this is how, this is why we do this show because this this shit doesn't happen with everybody. Yo, funny. Okay, okay. Yo, you can't, you can't do that. Man, we can't even be talking about that shit. No, you can't talk about it. We can't talk about that shit, that movie. Oh, Yo, son, I'm, all I'm saying. We. We. <laughs> like, what do you mean? What do you mean? <laughs> wow, I just like cooking, down home cooking. Oh, right? shit. Oh, sausage. Sausage. Oh, sausage. Oh, my God, dog. 400 years. <laughs> Everything that he said in that movie, God, no, stop it. We're not talking about that. We don't want, yo. No, all right. Okay. We got to stay as far away from that as possible. Okay. All I'm saying is that those two actors balanced the fucking line yeah. and they really put on the show that these cats were legitimately no man sick. and again i didn't I, I i guess like i didn't really hear it i heard it in passing about him having two brothers and yeah, then I mean, he mentions it in his songs but it's just like again it's just like it goes yeah and then when you see it you're like yeah, one it's a disease it's such a rare fucking yeah. disease like like i mean I, I will never remember, my, unless it becomes a part of my life. It's not something I'm going to remember the name of. My 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 my, my res respect for fucking Ghostface just shot up after watching this. Show. Dude, I mean, like, holding it down for that family, and then what he does afterwards. Because yeah. in, in the end, I've seen interviews, I've seen videos with his moms, and he loves his fucking moms. Dude. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a beautiful thing what uh, what happened there with Ghost. <laughs> um, and then uh, and then this was just an interesting side note. Um, there's this cat that plays Steve Rifkin. Um, oh yeah, and, and and I didn't look. I didn't know who this cat was. And but he looked had, familiar. Yeah, though. he hit me up, and he was like, "Yo, who does this look like, dude?" He looked familiar. He's short. Yo, he, he's got he's got that face, and, and he's got the the, the the same kind of like structure with his nose and his chin. So chins. he is the son of a gigantically famous actor. And can y'all figure it out? Just think about. Do y'all already know who it is? His name is Jake Hoffman. That's the name of the actor. Who's that? Dustin, so who we talking Dustin about? Hoffman. We're talking about Dustin. Dustin right? Hoffman. Monster of an actor. Monster of an actor. And and you don't see him. You only see him just a little bit in this season. But you see him a lot more in the later seasons. Yeah, I think he's got like seven different episodes. So he's 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 regularly appearing. I think more so even than like Abaddon. Yeah, yeah. But like Jake, uh, 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 Steve Rifkin, um, he sound like him. You yeah, sound like him. I don't yeah. know exactly what the cat looked like. I don't have like something to reference right off the bat, but it, but I've heard him in interviews, and I thought that he I thought he killed that. No, and for like yeah, a guy to portray like Steve Rifkin, I don't know him like that, but I can personally see if he's dealing with hip hop heads, that he would act like how how he acts. Yeah, how he, the actor. Acts. I thought he, I thought he was great, I, I, and I uh, it, it helped me build a little bit more respect for Steve Rifkin. You know, a lot of these industry people are shady. Yeah, yeah. But I, uh, I I enjoyed that performance. The next thing that we're gonna put and talk about for y'all is the, uh, the special guest appearances. Man. This is mostly the musician man, characters. Man, so I'm just gonna Hold run up. off a couple of names. Right? I just gotta say, when I when these names start rolling down, and when I you gotta imagine the first time that these I see these people in the show, I'm like. <laughs> Like busting nuts. Yeah, yeah you're, you're like, like yo, yo. Every, every cameo is <laughs> like, oh, oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, it starts off with uh, uh, with his little brother, uh, Nine Prince, uh, mm. uh, producer for uh, for for Wu Tang. We got Mathematics. He's the mm. one that actually created 
Uh, was Matt Madison the one that did this? Yep. Yeah. So we have we we we, we got we got that cameo on how that comes to be. And isn't he the producer of Green? Yeah, he does. Matt Maddox is a part of a lot of the production on Wu Tang. He like co works with mm -hmm. Rizzo on a lot of shit. Um, we get a cameo this season and first season in particular. We get Roxanne Shante with Big Daddy Kane. They're like shopping for some. For coach and shit, <laughs> we get Eric D and Rock Kim uh, performing uh, uh, on a stage show, which I thought that that kid fucking body. Yeah, I was, I was like, damn. <laughs> like, Just Ice's character is mm -hmm. great. We'll go into detail about his uh, involvement in the show in the next one. Prince Paul has a great cameo before the ending of this season. We get an awesome uh, cameo with Tretch and Venrock, yeah, uh, Naughty yeah, by yeah. Nature, which, which there's a little, little, little <laughs> going. Like joke, yo. <laughs> we'll, and, and we'll bring it up when we get to the next uh, to the next episode on it. But yo, that's funny as shit. We got Puff Daddy and Biggie pop up. Yeah. Nas makes an, a, a cameo appearance. I can't remember if he shows up in this. There season is or not. one person that comes up that I I asked John about. We 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 don't know. So I I've done further research on that, um, oh. and I still don't got anything. It dawns on me, yeah. So there's this one feature we'll talk about it in the next episode because we're talking about a specific part of this of, yeah, of the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah. But um, we uh we got Nas, we got Fat Joe makes an appearance, Big L makes an appearance. Yeah. Do you remember some of these appearances? Buster Ron shows up. I remember Buster. I remember Buster. Eric Sermon shows up. Um, yeah, we yeah, also yeah. got uh, yeah, Angelina. Yeah. Angelina Martinez shows up. The yeah. Delphonics has a great fucking cameo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All three of the, uh, the the singers in Delphonics show up. We get Kid Capri at one point. There's a great little uh, feature from Bapito and Stretch, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. I hear is not an embellishment, uh, but that's a great c uh, episode uh, or uh, scene. Uh, we got King Tech. The Brat shows up. Andre 3000 shows up. Do you remember this? No. I don't remember that either. Scarface shows up. I don't remember MC8 Scarface. shows up. I don't remember MC8. Prince Poe from Organized Confusion shows up. I don't remember none of these movies. Easy Mo B made an appearance and I don't remember that. Maybe they were like background. I just I, I just wrote them down like uh, because I was like, you know, because because they're in the credits. Oh. They're in the, if you go to IMD, yeah, yeah, whatever yeah, IMD, yeah. whatever that is, like you go there and there's a couple of cats that don't even get like the the credit for portraying mm -hmm. i think that was like prince poe but like yeah it's really wild i mean because i mean it's not been that long ago and i figured that some of that stuff would be like heavy highlighted yeah i don't remember i rewatched it but we'll so so we'll we'll talk about it season to season mm -hmm. and break all of that down but so those are all of like the different artists that show up i think it's really i think out of all of those that we were talking about uh, Naughty by Nature, Eric Rock Cam, nature, Prince, Paul, <laughs> Prince Paul, Just Ice, which, which goes down later down the road with some connections with Wu Tang. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like there's those cats. I think make the stronger appearances mm -hmm. uh, than everybody. Mathematics uh, in Night Prince, but like, yeah. Um, but again, we'll get into those when we're doing the highlights yeah. of the show. Yeah, I uh, I really did rock with it. So listen, guys, because I know that we're doing. We're, we're trying to keep the time kind of correct here. If it runs a little shorter, it's with the intent of doing so because we got three full episodes on each season. Yeah. So we're going to wrap it up by playing the games. But now the games are different today because we don't, we're not like comparing it. You know what I mean? There's nothing to. So I'm, it's more like open ended trivia. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so, so my question, my first question to you is which clan member would you want to see a deeper dive spinoff show? Ooh, that's a good one. And why? Like, like, huh, that's a really, I already got my answer. Yeah, that's a, really? I already got my, I'm gonna um, let you go up. Wow, that's something to think about because like, so you're saying like a deeper dive. Of, of, the, of the nine cats that we already have in the show right now. A deeper Rizzo dive Chizzo. or a spinoff show? It would be a spinoff show, it would be, their story, the same Wu Tang Saga tree book. Okay, but it that's what be, I'm talking about. It would be based on one. It would be it would be focused on one dude. Just like uh, just like all of the the, the first uh, solo albums from Wu Tang, basically, right? Like there's I feel the, everybody I, else is still gonna. I be feel there. I feel that like you know in the in the show you do they do good portrayal of the backstories later down the road, but the one that I really wanted a, a better backstory for would be just a. It would be cool to see a whole Jizza show. Yeah, I, I, I mean, that would be dope. Jizza, I mean, I think any of them would be dope. That would be dope. Now, and why? Because like, 
just uh i mean you already see the rizzo pretty much like this whole thing but you see like everybody else but like with jizz's story like we I didn't was, get as much love there did yeah we? and i was like i was like yeah the one allegory episode yeah but i was i wanted more to be like <coughs> like that killer hills like, like like that whole yeah mafia you know like the spark stakes house you know like that kind of like feel to it like they, they, you know, like, like, he's like the, like the crossing the, the, the border, like the with the, oh, uh, uh, with the Shastrakos land, and it's like with the, the, the tyrant left, yeah, yeah, and like that kind Fuck, of stuff, yeah, like, yeah. and then like the, the product, which is hip hop, or stuff like that, like more on that level, on the nose, yeah. That season is season three, and mm -hmm. we'll definitely go into detail about particularly those three episodes. I think we have a lot to say about it. Um, I would 100% do ODB. Now, I was going to say ODB. The reason why is that his story comes to a conclusion. Yeah. And I think it would be due just yeah, diligence yeah. to pay that homage mm. to the cat that really brought Wu-Tang out there to the forefront where people are listening to it for the first time. And you hear a cat like Method Man, you hear this dude ODB, and then you see ODB, and then you yeah. see an interview by ODB, and you're like, this guy I mean, is a fucking character. Um, that fucking character is making this song with Mary, uh, Mariah Carey. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, me and Mariah yeah. go back <laughs> like babies <laughs> and pacifiers. But I'm just saying, you know, that's go from like, yeah, go yeah. like from taking the piss and in the snow in an interview to. Doing a song with Mariah Carey at the one peak, biggest R at the peak stars. of her fucking yeah, and it's like yo, like we, that we, was a you a, made it. That was a not only did he make it, but that was like a big boom for hip hop itself, a big favor for hip hop itself. Oh, I agree completely, man. Like, because that's when, yeah. like, I mean, we always had like little, yeah, 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 little cameos here and there. But like when you think, think about like 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 a Michael Jackson, like mm. those cameos were always like some massive pop, right, pop, right, right. right. This was mm -hmm. radical. Wu Tang, man. It's not even dirty. dirty. Man. It's all dirty. It's all dirty, right? You know like, what I'm saying? Like that opened up a, a gateway. Mariah <laughs> and Mariah held it down, man. She was yeah, working, yeah, She yeah. worked with Mob Deep, Bull Dogs at Harmony, Puff Daddy, and all that. Like Mariah was definitely dope. Um, but that would do ODB personally. Yeah, because I, was, I think I that was, like that's a good reason. That's a good because that would be a complete show that yeah, we know like yeah. will will come to an end, right? And what or maybe a or, or maybe a movie. Yeah, like, maybe a movie. Yeah, a, mo a movie could be too. Like um, maybe. But anyway, yeah, yeah. What happened to Jeff? What happened in jail? Man. Wu Tang affiliates. Which Wu Tang affiliate or affiliates would you want to see a spinoff show on? I mean, you already know me, man. And you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna say, I'm gonna say something completely different than what you think I'm gonna say. And so it's gonna go one of two ways, bro. So if you don't, if you don't say one or the other, then I'll be shot. So it's gonna be great, great diggers. diggers. I know, yeah, yeah. Well, because then we'll get that deeper uh, Rizzo yeah, story, right? Yeah. And honestly, that was when Rizzo was his nicest. Yeah, yeah. Like I, as I, MC as a beat maker, I love, producer. I love Killer Army, but the most that I was think, gonna be the other. But that the interesting <laughs> story would be great diggers for me or Shaheen. Oh, I didn't even think about Shaheem. I bet Shaheem would be a dope one. Shaheem would be really interesting. Shaheem would be, you know what? I might even change my shit to Shaheem because I was going to say Sons of Man only because Killer Priest is one of the nicest rappers ever. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. motherfuckers, uh, need to, we need to recognize. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry you're going to say North Star because of the ending of Dude. what happened to Dude. You remember what happened? What are you talking about? He like was on... Yo, that would be a wild ass fucking episode. <laughs> yeah, that would. Maybe there's a way to cameo that, that segue, that side story. Or do just like a mini se season where like each episode is just about, you know, each affiliate. I don't know, man. That would I, be awesome. I think that would be. Uh, um, I would watch that shit. Yeah, I'd watch that shit. Um, now, now that we've seen all these documentaries and this TV show and all of this stuff, these all exist, uh, would we want to see a Wu Tang movie? Yeah, I know. I mean, I'm so down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna care. watch anything regardless. But I, you I, feel like it's oversaturated. It's been done already. Nothing Wu Tang will ever be over <laughs> from video games to clothes, to Yo, shoes, to straight up to, to, toys. To, nothing. It's it, it can't be. Over. It's worldwide, man. Wu Tang, Wu -Tang worldwide, worldwide, man. Like I'm with you, man. I'm yeah. I'm ready to see the movie. Too. Yeah, I'm yeah. ready to see the movie. 
I, I, I don't need to see another documentary per se. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like the stuff that's out there right now is, is exceptional. In the caliber of NWA. That, that no, guy. yeah, that, that's yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa, yeah, straight out of Compton. Uh, uh, you know, Australia, DJ Rashalo. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yo, let me know something. Let me go. I'm, 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 I got my tickets. <laughs> um, and then lastly, um, what other artist or group would you want to see get a TV series that is on that level? Of Wu Tang in America. So. I mean, a, a really good one right off the bat is is Trap Called Quest. That would be good. Trap yeah. Called Quest would be right good. off the bat, and then I don't know, man. I kind of thought, and, and so like immediately, I'm like, Yo, Death Row would be dope. But I feel like you've seen that a thousand times now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if it's not, if I'm doing West Coast, I want to see a Cypress solo. Cypress solo. I would, I would love to be, but over Cypress solo, I would like to see Mellow Man Ace. Because he, I mean, there's he, a way to like, cause he, there, there's that tie-in is there. Yeah, but it, he was like the first Latin. Him and Hidalgo just like, just were, like, like yeah, that, yeah, that, like that. The, the origin. Because of if the, it wasn't Melo Mendes, then Cypress would have never. Known right, him. right. And then fuck the weird. But you, so you think you think Melo Mendes would be a more interesting show, the movie? I think or yeah, show, rather, yeah show. because it was he was the pioneer of mm-hmm. like the Latin hip hop scene. I mean, just I think it'd be kind of cool to see Bone Thugs and Harmony do one. They, yeah, because their yeah, story, their that. story is. Fucking bananas. I could also see Three Six Mafia. God, that would be an amazing show. I think yeah. that would be. I'm and down I, for either. And, and I can also see Ghetto Boys. I'm down to see that. <laughs> I think that one will be. <laughs> There's no one answer to this. I mean, listen, in, your, in, in the comment section, you tell us, like, what artist or group would you want to see? You know, get that Wu Tang American Saga treatment because, like, there's so many different avenues you yeah, can go, and there's so, so many, so, so many groups right. that are either, even if like a lot of people know them or a lot of people don't know them. Like, I think that Cage is like a slept on rapper that like is more underground, who's really gone left field in his style of shit, would be an interesting movie to watch, a show to watch. Mm. But like, on a on a higher scale, I think. Yeah, like I said, I think I'd like to see Cypress. I think that would be an entertaining movie I, or show. I think that the Bone Thugs would be an interesting show. You know, I think yeah. Three Six. I think that those are shows that a lot of people, because there is enough pop in there, yeah. uh, where people would recognize what's happening here, there, and the other. Right? I mean, there's I mean, so many, man. Now you got me in my brain. I mean, it could be all of it. The whole Rough Rider crew, like, the DMX yeah, 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 yeah. show, would be amazing. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole. Uh... Would you rap, Big Daddy Kane? The, the, just the symphony. The symphony. No, it's just a backstory yeah, on all man. five of them cats. God and damn, um, man. Melly, oh, my God. Nah, man, Public Enemy would be... Man, this is just so Public many. Public Enemy would be a hype so one. So many, man. Like, the, the ones that really fought, you know, the industries, that fought the fought the, the, the tides of the time. like and the, and, and the ones with the personal struggle. Yeah. I think that there would be a lot of... There's a lot of drama mm-hmm. in 36 to the point where, like, oh, yeah. with, with who's left. Yeah, And yeah, how they yeah. all got to where they got. Like, I just... I don't know. I think that would be a really good one. Bone Thugs has still got that ruthless records tie so we get easy e and we get his wife and, and, and we get all of that back drama yeah you yeah, know yeah, but the mean, beefs with all those other cats that no, you know no, no, like, no, like no. three six i mean but there's and twist in it it's just so i mean outcast would also be good oh one. man outcast would be a good one yeah i mean like, pretty mob and the whole crew, yeah, the dungeon family mob, yeah man like that, like all those cameos because i mean uh you know outcast was like I mean, you still had other Southern rappers, but Outkast uh, was the one that really like. And that's the one that I think, like, I mean, Andre 3000's a cat who's never had a solo album in his life, and he still somehow ends up on Madhead's top five. Yeah. And he's nasty. Yeah. yeah. I love Andre. I put him up there uh, on occasion when I'm doing these lists, too. Whoa, whoa, Fuck whoa. that. Dude, the cat, the cat definitely influenced the way I write. Well, that. no, see, I know we're kind of going off topic here. Well, that's, but, that's what we're here for. But I, 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 I see... I gotta make my 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 shit clear. I love at all, all those sh- all the shit up to Atlians. Oh, you you turn it off after that? Yeah. My first experience with them was Equimini. Uh, see, I was late to no, the game. I was late Equimini, to the game. And everybody was going on and on about how nice this shit is, and the very first song I hear is Rosa Parks, and and, and that's the, that flow was the first time I was like, this is how these cats rap. But you see the difference between oh that yeah album oh and yeah. Atlians. But Equimini is extremely good. You know, it's good. It's got good stuff, but it just I, Atlians was to me the, my favorite. After that, I love Atlians. No like, oh, man, Equimini is so good. The wheels of steel. <laughs> I love Wills of Steel. Man. Every every record on that is dope. But I'm gonna say that every record. Man, like 
Yo, what a vibe that shit is. <laughs> like them long ass uh, cigarettes yeah, from Virginia. Yeah, from Virginia yeah. Dude, dude, it's so good. And yo. then prior to that, you gotta get up, get out, and get, get something. something. I listen to that song anytime I like got a job interview. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel bad, like when I'm smoking weed, I'm like, oh, man. Yo, I know, so man. Can't yeah, spend all my time trying to get high. <laughs> no, and then like, like of course, Goody Mom. Like, Dude, I fucking yeah. love Gritty, and I think so. Yeah, that would be a dope show to see where we get them all together. So, guys, um, we're gonna wrap this up. And basically, what's happening now? All right, this is a preliminary show, breaking down that stuff. So that, cause listen, it took us an hour just to talk about it. Yeah. This way, when we're going into the show, yeah. we're just talking about the episodes. We're just talking about the, yeah. the the people's none of this fun backstory bullshit. We've got it done here, right? You know how we feel about it. Take this with you when we go into the next episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to be good, but, you know, we're doing it for you motherfuckers. So. Yeah, so what we want, if we're doing it for you, we, we need you to do a little something for us. Yeah, man. But we'll talk about that next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We guys, we guys. We're going to drop this uh, episode uh, 8.1. It's coming out in, uh, in about a week or two. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So check it out. Listen, my name's been, uh, I've been Johnny Warbucks. Uh, you can go over to Bandcamp, look, uh, look up, uh, it's a party over here. Uh, they, they hear uh, my, uh, my, my little uh, impromptu uh, album there. Uh, go to Johnny Warbucks on Spotify. We are going to have a slew of interesting playlists um, for this series. Uh, I went online and looked on Spotify and a lot of heads came up with the idea because every uh, episode is uh, the name of a song, right? Yeah, so you got yeah, 30 yeah. tracks. Yeah. There's a lot of playlists made by whoever, whoever, where they just got the songs and then they got like their favorite greatest hits or whatever. Mm. I went and did like some real extensive research on this. These playlists are gonna be dope because you're gonna not only get the episode song, you're gonna get every song that's in the fucking show. Yeah, all right. That's, and that's available on Spotify. Listen, he does this and he spends hours. This motherfucker. Then the, there he, was a project. He sent me. He sent me the shit like, like the notes and complete everything like at four o'clock, like yesterday, yesterday. Morning. this morning, this morning. And I'm like, damn, how is this guy so? I mean, I guess so it's that Wu Tang coffee, man. And I got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's air. Sometimes you got, yeah, you just gotta breathe in God's good air. You gotta breathe in air. You breathe in the, <laughs> like, the white clouds, man. All right, uh, all right. Yeah, so that's our show. Oh, survival. wait. It's the. <laughs> are, you, are you doing white line? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man, no. Okay. So, so Johnny Warbuck, Spotify, uh, Bandcamp, check that out. Collision um, the Cop Red, uh, all the streaming sites. Um, <laughs> Remember the Records is also another podcast that we have. Check it out. Um, yeah, man. Like you know, the other one's called Rapper's Corner. This is a uh, oh, yeah. Sorry, I always get them confused. Rapper's Corner. Yeah, listen. listen. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Where's your proof? Where's That's you? my finger. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that's all it is. So, um, but yeah, for reals, for reals. Uh, look at my eyes. No, but for reals, for reals. To my eyes. Um, no, check us out, man. Check us out. Check the pods. Check our music stuff out. You know, uh, we got. We've been doing this for 30 years, and we're not going to stop until, until we just can't. We can't do it. And that's when we can do it for the rest of our lives, man. So, for real, doing it for you, doing it for us, doing it for the culture, keeping it alive, motherfuckers. If you guys like the show, if you're feeling what we're, what we're talking about, what we're laying down, check us out, man. Yo, be sure to like this show, this episode. Be sure to share this episode. Comment in the comment section how you felt about the American Saga Wu-Tang uh, from Hulu. Um, speak your mind on it what did you guys think what did you think uh we want to interact with everybody i want to hear your thoughts on it uh but please like and subscribe share this and spread the word so we can uh get this thing uh keep it keep this thing building yes sir yes sir all right all right uh, we'll see you in the next episode a couple of weeks peace out, peace out. Time. 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 ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs>